Okay, so another interesting thing that you can do uh, with a projector is to throw an image of yourself onto yourself. So, here, I'll just take a snapshot of myself right here. And I'll capture that and edit it into Adobe Premiere Pro and just throw it out onto a, um, throw it through a projector out onto a wall and that will enable me to stand in front of it. And now I'm just shooting out from my projector onto the wall here and I'm going to interrupt it with my face. Um, this takes a lot of precision. Your body has to be correct in this dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. Um, this one controls how big or small it appears on your real face. So, oh, that's actually pretty good. But, you know, let me give you an idea of what's going on. That projector is hitting me here, so if I'm too close, see, my real features are larger than my digital features. If I'm too far away, my real features are smaller than my digital features. So what I want to do is try to find a happy medium. It's right about here where they match up, and then I'll just slide right in. And when you meet up, when you hit your mark, you feel it. Your um, your eyes go dark. This is because the digital, the image of the digital eyes are hitting my real eyes. So the black part of my digital eyes are masking out my real eyes. Now there are a few uh, tricks that you can do here. Um, one of them is that, meeting up with yourself with the other eye. Um, now, you will observe on the video that this mouth is moving and this isn't, but you could imagine a video where I would uh, have this guy talking and then my real self wouldn't be talking. Or we could even carry on a conversation with each other. Um, the lighting is really bad for this side of my face right now, but that could be, a, we could change that so that uh, so that maybe only my features are being projected and then everything else is just sort of blank light so that you don't get any ear on my nose. <laughs> um, that's one trick. And then another trick would be uh, to do this. So this way I could make noise but I won't say anything or I could not say anything and have mouth move. I guess that's not really a trick. Anyone can do that without a digital image. Um, but nonetheless, being able to talk without having your mouth move is sort of cool. Um, now, I'm not really sure if this travels well in the video, but when you're standing in the room, it, the lighting quality of a projection on skin looks very different from from theatrical light on the skin. Um, <clears throat> I think it has something to do with the way shadows are being handled. Uh, so if you look, um, look here, you see how uh, my highlights and my shadows, here's a highlight, here's a shadow. Those are imprinted on the image, those are coming from the light source. And that gives off a very different image than if the light source was even and then it bounced off my face into the audience. Um, the effect looks like it's more of a digital image. Uh, it looks, makes it feel like it is uh, like I am an avatar. It makes it feel like I am a 3D object, a 3D digital object. Um, And the 3D digital object, it's sort of, uh, I'm talking about like Xbox 360 games or like, you know, any 3D computer game, um, the, like Madden or NBA, um, which sort of gives this ghostly fake but kind of real look to everything. 
I'm going to be sharing these with uh, one of my friends who's doing that show. Um, the details will go up when I get details as to when the show is going to go up and what the name of the show is. You can check that out on my blog. Uh, that's www.fedhex.com slash blog. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for checking out the video. And if you have any questions regarding how to throw projectors, um, the light of a projector onto skin or uh, how to, you know, what problems I've come up with while playing with these ideas, uh, hit me back with an email, uh, which you can find on my blog. Great.